So I'm just going to prepare for the eggplant um, puree. I need to um, prepare two fairly large eggplants and we are going to cut them in about, we don't need to be too fussy, but in about half, sort of half inch cubes. Sorry for throwing the onion in front of you. <laughs> Is this base sufficient? Oh, definitely, definitely. You don't even need to be that fussy, but that's great. Nice eggplants here, Josh. Wonderful. Glad you like them. I um, I know we're a little bit early for a lot of these vegetables coming out of the CSA, but the reason I was keen to work with some of them today is just to um, get people ready for when they're, they're in abundance. Okay, so now we're going to cook the Indian style eggplant puree, curry. And to start off with, we're, we need three tablespoons of ghee in our pan. likes the ghee. Okay. Okay, three tablespoons of ghee. Wait for that to warm up and then we're going to add our onions. So that was um, two medium onions. Diced. Diced, exactly. And we want to fry those off for a few minutes. There we are. So look at that nice golden color. Beautiful. Okay, so what are we adding next? Uh, time to add our ginger. How much? Uh, two teaspoons. Be generous. We okay. love ginger. Okay, so basically a tablespoon of one. That'll do. <laughs> and we add our, um, now we add our spices and our salt. So that's our turmeric, our chili powder, salt and garam masala. And we stir all that together. What's going to go in after this? The eggplant. And then the onion, and then the um, tomato. Tomato at the end, or is it going to stew with the tomatoes? It's going to stew with the tomatoes. That's where our moisture is going to come from. Wonderful. So you actually put Great. the tomatoes in first. and our eggplant on the top. And once these are in, we'll give it another big stir and we're going to reduce the heat. There's not even enough moisture for me to scrape the bottom of the pan. Okay. I'll add half a cup for starters. So the eggplant is nice and coated with the spices. So we're going to cover it in low heat and let it go, right? Yeah. Um, I wonder if they weren't very juicy tomatoes. Yeah, if it were me, I'd add a little bit more water. Do you want me to quickly add another tomato? Um, we could do water and tomato. I can dice one up if you add the water. What I would love for everyone to really kind of listen to, which is that, again, unlike baking, this is a lot of uh, liberty. And so you can have a recipe, and if your produce doesn't really give you the moisture that it was intended to, you've got to really be able to ad lib. So we are adding some more tomato. 
we are adding water, which is not part of the recipe. Um, and if you were not to do this, what would happen is your ingredients would burn to the bottom of the pan. And you're basically, once we get this tomato in, you're uh, going to let it simmer and you need the moisture for it to cook and break down. I think last time I cooked this dish, Josh, I actually used a can of tomatoes. And that's going to have obviously a lot more water. Yeah. I reckon we're good for the cover now. Yeah. And we're going to put this on a lower heat. Yep. There we go. How long are we going to wait before we check it? Uh, we'll probably check it in five minutes or so. Okay.